Pol police always pulling black boys over, black men. Look, I guess they got liquor in the car, but that, that don't mean nothing if they not drinking it. I guess it's open, but you don't know that until you pull them over. I'm just telling you, man, I'm so sick of these people. They just come in our community, violate us. Look. But as long as I'm on the scene, I'm going to make sure they do. Then they got always got two women, always the most aggressive on men. I don't, I don't, I, I get, I'm going to always be that the monitor. You can believe that. Share that. Look, don't handcuff them, pull them over. Now you got to take the cuffs off. Why, why you even, look, why you even pull them over in the first place? You got to take the cuffs off. Look, he's smiling. Look, you got to let him go. Why, why are you even pulling them over in the first place? What they do? If they did anything, if they did anything, you write them a ticket. If it's traffic related, what you do? Big man. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. We're going to monitor them. Look. You're going to go... That's good. He should ask you on the date. I just wonder why you were pulled over in the first place. He not drinking. You would have took him to jail. Y'all yeah. women. Now, it's always y'all women, though. It's always you women. Y'all the most aggressive. Y'all the ones. Hey, y'all the ones. Y'all good? What happened? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. See? That's what goes on. See, when you when you when they know you watching they butts, they can't get out here. I'm telling you, right. you're not gonna be in my neighborhood while I'm around right. as a black man pulling out my little young brothers over and disrespecting our community. What you pull them over for anyway? Right. And, uh, you know, you're going to open the check the cars. What's the reason? Because there's three black men in the car? Right. This is what I'm saying, man. Being black men stand up, when you see this stuff going on in your neighborhood, for one, they there to serve us. We not there to serve them. Exactly. We about to wake up, man. Every time I see them, that's probably how I'm going to get killed out here. But I guarantee you, you're not going to say I was no coward running around here. Y'all scared to death. Won't even do nothing. That's the problem. They can come in and pull our boys over. That's why young men get shot. Because they don't have no accountability. And that's going to stop today. Thank you for that. That's going to stop. We're going to clear all that up. See, you see, when, I'm, when they get monitored, when they being monitored, you see how they act. They know they being watched. They got sarcasm coming out their mouth thank you thank you no not thank you yeah you know you being watched and we're not playing with you no more this is not what we gonna do today and it's a new day tune in to eight live tonight we're gonna deal with these these these, these uh uncle tom negro sellout leaders the same way every time i see these guys in our neighborhood calling themselves serving and protecting who they serving and protecting if they locking up our boys and shooting our boys Women, they locking up your sons and killing your sons. So men, they locking up your sons and killing your sons, nephews, and cousins. We're going to stop that today. We're going to change this narrative real soon. And we ain't waiting on politicians and benevolent white folks to do it. We're going to do it. ECCSC Live.